Um, so I have a lot of photographer, videographer, YouTuber friends who tell me like, oh, I have this script and it's really great, but I don't have a camera and I don't have actors. Well, first of all, if you have an, a smartphone, then you have a camera problem solved. It might be not as good as you want it to be, a little bit inconvenient with the battery life and the space, blah, 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 but you can get a new camera later. Meanwhile, just film something on your phones. And the next problem is actors, right? So I'm going to show you today different ways that you can get in contact with actors if you have no budget, little budget, whatever. I'm going to show you ways that I get um, my gigs. Um, so also, if you're an actor, you're welcome to watch this video to get some tips about that. Only one of the things that I'm going to tell you about today is uh, specific to the San Francisco Bay Area. Everything else is online or in person. Um, and those in-person ones are a little bit more collaborative so you can get to know the people more and see if they can bring something else to your production. So the first one is San Francisco Casting, sfcasting.com, and it is the most popular in my experience because whenever I'm on set or um, whenever I'm talking to my actor friends in general about where they get their castings, where they got like a student project or um, a cool project that they did for free or a commercial, anything like that is most likely sanfranciscocasting.com and it is not as user friendly as we would all want it to be but it is the most popular so there is um, somewhere where you can post your gig you can tell them specifically like if you're paying or not paying um, the dates locations all that stuff and for you to post is for free so actors to see your post we have to pay the next one is backstage.com and there's another casting website and it is a lot more user friendly than sanfranciscocasting.com but I would say among my friends it is the second most popular because most of the actors I talk to already have SF casting and then they're like thinking about maybe getting backstage as well and what I like about backstage.com is that you can post and do a more nationwide search. For San Francisco casting it's more like just San Francisco but in backstage you can search people from other states you can just do a nationwide um, search and you can say like hey if you're gonna be here or if you want to come whatever you know if you don't have a budget then you can't pay for them to come but it is more of a bigger casting rather than just specific to the Bay Area so you can find more people because also if you're looking to hire somebody for voiceover then that's super helpful because they can literally be anywhere as long as they can record in a pretty good quality. And on their site, you can search their database instantly. Um, even if you're an actor or any kind of profile on backstage, you can search and see all the talent around your area. You can filter it really well. I really like backstage.com. I wish more people would use it. And on those two casting websites, um, I have found anything from student projects, free projects, like random um, stuff, YouTube stuff. Um, auditions for theater so I found all kinds of stuff on both of those sites stuff that doesn't pay to stuff that pays okay the next one is social media so the ones I'm going to talk about are Facebook and Instagram on Facebook you should find uh, groups that are specific to what you are looking for so for example I am part of a few different uh, local San Francisco Bay Area Facebook groups that are for actors photographers videographers filmmakers writers that kind of stuff I'm also part of some groups that are um, women in theater, um, women in YouTube, like all kinds of different stuff. So just search private groups and then ask to join. Some of those groups are 10,000, 25,000 people and um, you will be able to just post again. So very similar to what you would be posting on SF Casting or Backstage, but this time in a post. So after you're part of those Facebook groups, make sure it's okay to post casting um, notices and be very specific whether you're paying or not and that kind of stuff. The next one is Instagram and I would suggest posting it on your Instagram story and then letting them know to go to your main page, your main Instagram page, and then have another post there with a photo and a longer description and that way you can let the people um, that follow you on Instagram know that as well and if you use a hashtag people that aren't following you can discover you through the hashtag and um, Get in contact with you. The next one are agencies talent agencies So there are some smaller agencies and even larger ones like why not you can email them and see if you get an email back um, You can also call some of these agencies and ask if they have any newer talent that would like some experience in front of the camera or some material for their reel because if they're new, hey, why not say yes to some free projects? They can get some experience. 
And that one I have never tested, but why not? Because I have heard of some agencies um, suggesting different photographers that are new to different actors, models that are new so they can both get experience. So why can't it work for video as well? universities or any kind of acting school you can contact them let them know that you are trying to cast actors maybe they have some kind of board where they can post your casting call your project maybe a private facebook group where they can post your project on um, and so you can find some of their talent to work with you so they can get more experience because if they're in school they're probably learning and willing to do a student project short film YouTube video I used to work at Cal State East Bay and when somebody would come in talking about a project some kind of audition I would be more than happy to email it to people that I thought would be great specifically and also I would post it on our private Facebook group and on like physically post printed and post it on one of the boards all right, the next two are more uh, personal, more collaborative. You can actually meet the people in person. So first of all, meetups. I met a bunch of YouTubers that were also actors, writers, everything uh, uh, at a meetup. And uh, that way you can just sign up online and it's it won't be as awkward because everybody is already coming together for the purpose of meeting new people. So meetup.com. Also uh, mixers, like film mixers. I went to a woman in film mixer last year. Um, there's always mixers. There's people that want to meet more people like them, especially in smaller towns where some people might think that there aren't as many people interested in making films or acting or that kind of stuff. Theater performances or live events. So any kind of open mic, um, any kind of like actual theater performance, but this one is like, a big audition in one so any kind of theater festival here's an example again in the San Francisco Bay Area this is just an example but I'm sure you can find one near you um, if you don't live in the Bay Area I was a part of short-lived six which was last year in uh, at the piano fight and right now actually they're doing piano fights uh, seventh annual short-lived competition where it's a competition of plays where the audience votes for the top play each week one of the plays is like first place and gets to go to the finals um, and then in the last week all the best plays uh, get to compete for five thousand dollars so this specific competition um, you can go to and it's very interactive because the audience is voting so the audience already has like kind of a little in to talk to the actors because the actors want to hear like oh you know what did you like blah 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 and everybody kind of waits around to hear who won that night who won that weekend the votes and everything this year for this specific competition short-lived seven it is 48 plays in nine weeks so any given night you are seeing six plays and you can see anywhere from six actors to 30 actors because it can be like a one woman one man show to a bigger production so after the show you see them all act it's like a huge audition it's short plays you get to see them for a few minutes each make a little know who you want to talk to and maybe you can come back another weekend and see another set of actors um and i can't remember the price but i want to say it's like 10 or 20 dollars to go in and see them which would be a lot cheaper than trying to rent a room hold an audition that kind of thing hire somebody to help you or find somebody to help you for checking them in and you know organizing the audition anyway so this is a really great way to find and meet new actors and then after the show if you're interested in them um, you can talk to them and let them know like hey would you like to be a part of my project and also if you can't find them after the show um, their name is in the program so you can find them online and kindly, not creepily, ask them if they would like to be in your project. So that's Piano Fight. Um, it is in downtown San Francisco, right next to Powell Street Station. For the rest of you, just look for short play festivals, theater festivals. And lastly, people you might know. You never know if somebody around you wants to be an actor or is an actor but hasn't done it for a while, blah, blah, blah. Just ask around, maybe ask your artsy friends if they know any actors, um, anybody in a university, be like, hey, does your school have like an acting program, a theater program? Because um, I'm sure everybody knows an actor of some kind. And don't be afraid to just talk about your project because you never know who can overhear and be like, oh, hey, I've always been kind of interested. Like, this seems like not so stressful that I have to be good right away, like flexible, whatever. Feel free to talk about your projects and let people know what you're working on starting right now. I would love to hear about you in the comments below. So if you're an actor, go ahead and post down there um, the city you live in 
and a way somebody can get in contact with you, so your social media or your email. If you're looking to cast an actor, also comment below your city. Um, give us a tiny bit about your project, who you're looking for, and a way we can contact you or to find out more. So starting with me, I am Belgica Paola. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I do travel to the Sacramento area quite a bit and um, I would love to hear about your projects to collaborate and I can also film my own voiceover stuff here at home. I can do some kind of filming at home if it helps you um, for your project. And you can find all of my reels right here, my commercial reel, my acting reel, and my voiceover reel. And I am also bilingual. I speak Spanish. So let me know if you would like to collaborate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell if you would like to see more acting videos.